Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So in this video I would like to differentiate the whole basis systems and shaft basis systems. So for the detailed study you should refer my previous lecture for the study on the whole basis systems and shaft basis systems. So in this video I am only the differentiate between whole basis and shaft basis systems. Now for hall basis systems, as you can see the first difference, the whole size is assumed with the zero lower deviations or you can say H hole as the basic size. So just you can refer, so that will be considering as a zero line. So in case of the whole basis systems, the whole size is assumed with the zero lower deviations so just you can see the lower part that will be onto the zero line so that will be the whole systems and the different kind of positioning of the shaft so suppose that will be the position of the shaft so that will be initially the whole size is assumed with the zero lower deviations so that will be the lower deviations with the zero line so that will be called as a whole basis systems now for the shaft basis system the shaft size is assumed with the zero upper deviations or you can say small h shaft is the basic size so what happened for the shaft basis systems So here that will be shaft basis system so that will be the upper deviation that upper part and if that will be the positioning of the whole basis system or you can say whole so that will be the two different positioning for the whole basis and shaft basis so here that will be the whole size is assumed with the zero lower deviations and shaft size is assumed with the zero upper deviations. Now second one, in order to obtain the desired types of fits, limits on to the hole and kept constant and some of the shaft R is being varied. Now first one, that will be the initial position of the hole and the shaft. So if you find the any kind of gap between hole basis and shaft basis, so you can say in technical language that will be providing the clearance for hole system and shaft system. So that will be making a clearance fit. But in case of hole basis systems, the hole that will be kept constant so that will be the hole and these are the different positioning of the shaft so if it will be the clearance fit or either you can say the some kind of interference fit but if you find the intermediate so that will be called as a transition fit but so once again the hole that will be kept constant and if you find the shaft that will be the upper side of the hole so that will be the shaft and that will be the hole so what happens so you can find the such kind of arrangement of A and B components for the assembly so that will be called as a interference fit so basically transition fit that will be the products of either that will be as a clearance fit or that will be for the interference fit. But these three kind of fits only changing with your shaft dimensions. Just you can see the whole positions that will be kept constant. So just you can change with the shaft. Now for the shaft basis systems. In order to obtain the desired types of fits, limits onto the shaft are kept constants and same onto the variation with the whole systems. 
So just you can see for these positions that will be the shaft and that will be the hole. Why it will be the shaft? Because the shaft size is always assumed with the zero upper deviations. So that will be the shaft and hole. Now for the second one, the shaft are kept constant. So that will be the same. You can see that will be the shaft. And if you find the different kind of positioning of the holes similar to the our transition feeds like this. So that will be the hole. So if you find such kind of arrangement, so that will be called as a transition fit. And for the third one, once again, the shaft, it will be kept constant. And if you find the hole that will be the below of the shaft, so that will be always making a interference fit. So these are the basic difference of the hole basis and shaft basis systems. Now for details. To control the whole basis and shaft basis systems, so for the whole basis systems, it is more convenient to vary the shaft size to get the required fits. So that will be the convenient method for assembles of the whole, whole basis systems and shaft basis systems. You can easily adjusting, but for the shaft basis systems, that will be having a difficulties to vary the whole sizes to get the required fit. Some more difference for hole basis systems, it is cheaper and convenient to make the hole of the correct size, thus this system is preferred into the mass productions. So whenever that will be the requirement of the mass productions in the field of the any measurement or any kind of productions, so that will be the having the good feasibilities. But for the shaft basis systems that will be the costlier and the time consuming that will be the main issue to make a shaft of a correct size. Thus this system is not suitable for the mass productions. Then for the whole basis systems for the production shafts are different size and requires less capital and the storage space for the tools required. And other side for the shaft basis systems for producing the holes of the different sizes requires more capital as well as the storage space for the large number of the tools requires. And the last ones for the whole basis systems gauging of the shaft can be carried out by adjustable gap gauges which is easier and convenient. So that will be issues regarding to the measurement of the whole basis systems and for the shaft basis system the gauges gauging of the hole is difficult since it is a internal dimensions. So that will be all regarding to the basic difference between hole basis systems and shaft basis systems. So if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you very much.